to you this morning from the book of Romans, 12th chapter, and I read a few of the following verses. Amen. We'll stand for the reading of God's word. If you can able to stand, raise your back to stand with us. I beseech thee, therefore, brother, by the mercies of God, Amen. that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, my, 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 my. holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Oh, Lord. And be not conformed to this world, uh -huh. but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that he may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Yes, yes. I read to you from the book of Romans, chapter 12, verse 1 through 2. May God have the best to the readers, hearers, and doers of his holy and mighty word. Amen. 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 You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Amen. 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 Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Brothers, amen for praying for us. Amen. You want to wait one second? You want to come on in? Just find the door back in the back. And just Wilson, can you go to the door to see? Amen. We can log on people to come in. And, uh, amen. We'll take a second. We'll be able to always be able to be in time for prayer. You never know what somebody needs to hear prayer. Amen. Amen. Right? Come on, give the Lord a hand clap. Prayer is always in order. Always on the table to make sure that we have an amen opportunity for people to make prayer. Because you just don't know. Amen. It may be my last time. Amen. And all songs said, I don't know. Amen. So I want to be prayed up. Amen. Everybody be able to have prayer, but you just don't know what people are yet coming, going through. Amen. So we're like the deacons, amen. I'm deacon the trainer, amen. Deacon, amen. Deacon the P, amen. Amen. I say the same, deacon, amen. Nixon, amen. 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 The Lord, come on, give the Lord a hand. Amen. We did not think yet, amen. Guess what? Why the we go down the road church, but why did the people have to decide? The pastor came to decide. Amen. amen. But we know, but we're in training, amen. Learn. Y'all pray for Brother Dixon, amen. The Lord, we're in training. We've been in class. Come on, give the Lord a hand. We've been in class. Amen. He passed us far. Amen. I don't got close. You got real close. You got one point short. Amen. But we're going to keep on pushing through. Amen. We know it's hitting water. The Lord's already preached and pointed at him. Amen. But we still have to go through training. Amen. Amen. We believe in training people up for what they need, especially something. I mean, you're not going to hold two offices spoken up in the church. You know what they are? Bishop and deacon. Not choir worker, not musician. Amen. Not trustee. Only pastor, bishop, and deacon is spoken. That's why we take this job serious. Amen. The one invites to the one nation service. Amen. The Lord said the same. If the brother will be passing the test, amen, we'll keep on moving through. Y'all pray for him. We and his wife. Amen. And his family. Amen. Because this is not an easy thing, but it's a very important thing in the kingdom. So if we go to God in prayer, let's pray. Come on. Amen. 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 Dear gracious Heavenly Father, yes, oh, yes. thank you, Father. Thank you, thank you for this opportunity. Thank you! Lord Jesus. You woke us all up this morning. Thank you! 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 Thank you!
Do we find our homes the way we live? Oh, yes. yes, yes, yes. There's so many out there that don't have homes. My God, my God. Have mercy. Pray that you will be have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. I watch the angel. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. Send your angels, Father. Please, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Please know the blessing we pray in Jesus' name.
up to something good for our lives. And so often he does it through wonderful people like you. Thank you so much for your prayers, your calls, your texts, and love. Ooh, my God. May God bless all of you for your kindness. You are an awesome church family. The Griffins. Amen. Come on, give the Lord a hand. God bless you. What a beautiful Lord. Amen. Thank you. 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 Amen. Come on, give the Lord a hand clap. Amen. We can bring the pity back. 
And I said, give it back. I mean, we can make it come back. Amen. We want to make it come back. And she will be the, we're not called up in church work. Watch this. But that we know what we're doing, the work of the church. Amen. Feeding the widows. Amen. Amen. And the orphans. Amen. Amen. Feeding the homeless. And that's what you need to We want to give out that. We want to pray a special prayer today. That special name on lift up. Amen. I think it's the daughter. Amen. Just an added to the name. Karen is a Karen on the name. Just a Karen. We want to lift her up today. Give me that last name. Amen. Farrell. Okay. Farrell. Farrell. Karen Farrell. We want to lift up today. Because I was talking about telling my teacher. I want to make sure I add her to the list. We want to pray for Sister Bowen. Sister Carol Bowen. We want to pray also too for Mother Ruthie Haynes and Sister Alicia Wells. You're recovering. Mother, Mother Margaret Busby and my, my cousin Gary White. We want to pray for Deacon. Pray for my good Deacon. Amen. That God is yet moving. And he's like, I just believe God. Sister Griffin. See, doctors make the diagnosis. But God is the right. I mean, he determines how things turn out. He does. And all we have to do is put it all in his hands. Isn't that right, Mother Davis? Put it all in his hands. We'll also pray even for, even for Sister Hard and Sister Laura Hard, Sister Biggie Hard, and Brother Patrick Brown, the brother, amen, of Bigger Brown. I want to pray for Sister Cash in this season as well. She's getting recovery as well. Pray for the mothers of our church, for Mother Watkins, and our Mother Whitaker, Mother Smith, amen, amen, and other Sister Mother Harris, amen. We want to pray for all the mothers of our church, Mother Marie Brown, and other names, and Mother Ruby Hayes. Who are all a part of our church and members of our church. We want to pray for the healing of those who are yet going through. Pray for caregivers. Amen. In this season. We want to pray for the Thomas family. Amen. Deacon and Deacon, Deacon Thomas and Mrs. Thomas and Amen. And uh, Sister Argel and my family had to travel all the way to so Louisiana on their way back home. Man, to go and bury in love. We want to pray for that family in this season of transition. We pray for their safe travel back home as well. Amen. Amen. We want to pray for COVID patients all over America. Pray for our government. Amen. In this season. So we're standing on our feet. Let's go on our feet as we pray for nurses and doctors. Amen. As we go to God in prayer. As we lift up, amen. Churches and doors open in God's name. We want to pray for our small businesses all over. Lord, we thank you, God, for right now. Thank you for life, health, and strength, and for the joy of living. And oh, God, before we ask you for anything, we want to thank you for everything. In this season of Thanksgiving, God, we don't ever want to forget how good you have been to us. Lord, you've been better than Campbell soup to us. God, you're not just mm -mm good. God, you're amazing. Good. God, oh God, you're amazing. Good. God, you blow our mind how good you are to us. God. And God, we realize that you could us out in spite of us. In spite of our ways, oh God. In spite of our masses. In spite of our meanness, oh God. You are yet good to us. God, you woke us up to see another day. You took care of our needs, oh God. All that. And you watched over so that, that the neighbor nobody could break in. You, you watched over. Thank you. 
Thanksgiving. Lord, we thank you. Thank you. God, forgive you. Thank you, Jesus, for dying for a rich like me. Now be in this word. Put it in the Lord. For your people sake, in the name of Jesus the Christ, we ask it all. Amen. Listen, let's go right to the word. Amen. If we're standing, we're resting on our feet. Let's go right to the New Testament. Reading on today, found in the book of Philippians. Amen. In the back of the Bible. The book of Philippians. Amen. P H I L I P P I A N S. Philippians. Amen. New Testament reading in the first chapter of Philippians. Amen. An old familiar text. Amen. During this Thanksgiving day and season. Amen. Not just a season, but a day. I want to start saying Thanksgiving day. Amen. Y'all know next Sunday is Thanksgiving. Amen. Y'all know next, next Sunday after that. Amen. It's Thanksgiving. Amen. Be thankful. But with the song is with a grateful, grateful heart. Have a grateful heart. Amen. We thank God for Brother Dixon is yet here with us. Hallelujah. Amen. Y'all don't know why we shout for Brother Dixon. Hallelujah. He's here on Sunday. Hallelujah. Y'all ask me why he's why he here. Why we have for the people. Amen. Y'all ask me. Amen. Amen. We thank God. We don't thank him. Granted, God, the little things you do for us. Little things. Not the big things. Philippians chapter. Number one, beginning at verse number one, King James Version says, I'm going to read King James, it says, Paul and Timothus, the servants of Jesus Christ, are all saints in Christ Jesus, which are in Philippi, with the bishops and deacons. Grace be unto you, and peace from God our Father, and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Verse three says, I thank my God. Upon every remembrance of you, always in every prayer of mine, for you all making requests with what? Joy. Everybody say joy. joy. For your fellowship in the gospel from the first day until now. Verse 6, our last verse is be confident of this very thing. Everybody say very thing. That he which hath begun a good work. Everybody say good work. In you will perform it. Everybody say perform it. Perform it. Until the day of Jesus Christ. Amen. The grass withers and the flower will fade, but the word of the Lord shall stand for ever. Read that one share with you today. Giving thanks in chains. Giving thanks in chains. Or thanksgiving in chains. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord on today. Amen. Story is, is told of a man. Amen. A, a young man who needed, needed his pants ironed. His, his wife, uh, as she had ironed his pants for him many times before, this time when she ironed his pants, Edith, she burned the pants. These pants were brand new pants that he was looking forward to wearing. Her, her, and her husband started to get mad, but stopped to think before reacting and said, Lord, Lord, thank you. Thank you. That my leg wasn't in those pants. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is always a reason yeah. to give thanks. She right. said, Lord, thank you. Thank you that my leg wasn't in the pants. They burned up. They used to keep the pants burned up, Lord. But I thank you. My little leg wasn't in the pants. Can you imagine? Amen. Y'all yeah. yeah. be happy, brother. Be happy about the little thing. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Right. In this season, in our text on today, we, we, we walk up to our text in this Thanksgiving season. If we were to ask the question, when is the Thanksgiving Day. I wonder how many of you could, could give me the correct answer. Some of you may be thinking, do you mean the exact day or, or not really? But, but because the day varies from year to year. Some of you might say, I know it is a Thursday in November. Yes, but which Thursday? Even if you, you guess the exact day, which, it, which this year happens to be uh, this coming, this coming Thursday. Amen. Amen. This coming Thursday. You, 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 you wouldn't give me the answer that I'm looking for. The official Thanksgiving Day, watch, I'm going to teach you something, goes all the way back to 1789. When George Washington, the first president of the United States, proclaimed November 26, 26 as the day of Thanksgiving. After that, Thanksgiving Day continued to be celebrated on different days in different states until finally in 1863, President Abraham Lincoln issued a White House proclamation calling an American people to observe a special day of Thanksgiving on the last day, the last Thursday of November of every year. Ever since, each president has issued a Thanksgiving Day proclamation designating the fourth Thursday as, the, as each November as the 
the official Thanksgiving Day. You want to pack what you give us something? Because I'm going to always teach you something. All right. Amy, how do you just to come and get the Bible? You don't want to. I know y'all know that. Okay, okay. Amen. Yeah, I know you didn't know that. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. If you were a follower of Jesus Christ, I, I've got a great news for you. Though every day is certainly not a holiday, every day, everybody say every day, yeah. is a day of Thanksgiving. Yeah. Thanksgiving is every day in the life of the walkers of a believer. It's every day. But this is every day. But we, it's every day in the life of a believer. We can be thankful for every single day of our lives, regardless of our environment, regardless of our circumstances, and regardless of our condition. Amen. That's right. Our condition don't dictate whether or not we're thankful. We ought to wake up. Say, man, you know the birds are in every day, the birds wake up in the morning. You know the first thing they do is start uh, chirping. Yeah. 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 You know what they say? Lord! Yeah. Thank you, what? For the work that that bird didn't even worry about. What they gonna be? Amen. Why? The ladies don't think you're the first thing they do in the morning when they wake up. They say, Lord, thank you. Yeah. They reach toward the sky, trees and branches, blowing the hills out the ground. They give it praise to God Amen. for what He has. We are doing the same thing. The song says, Let everything that have breath praise ye the Lord. General circulation uh, to all the children, as, as, as was the letter to the Ephesians. Watch this. Paul wanted to thank the believers for helping him when he had need. Watch this. You want to thank them? Listen, Mama said, "All oh, the people be nice to you, tell them thank you." And you know, people don't have to be nice to you. Amen. When people are nice to you, you're going to always tell them thank you. Everybody say thank you. When people give you something, Amen. Tell them thank you, Brother Brown. He Paul wanted to tell them why he could why he could be full of joy despite his imprisonment. Watch this in an upcoming trial. Paul was in prison, getting ready. He hadn't even gone to trial. He wasn't on bond. He wasn't on bail. Paul was in prison, writing Philippians. In this uplifting letter, Paul counseled the Philippians about humility and unity and warned them about potential problems. This letter provides that, that even while this apostle Paul sat in a, a foul a Roman prison, he never lost his passion, uh -huh. his sense of mission, his sense of direction or commitment to the situation of, or his attitude of gratitude. I want to invite you today to always have an attitude of gratitude. If he said it today, it's an attitude of gratitude. Then I learned a young man, mom would say, your attitude determines your what? How high you go. If you walk around with a name and that, guess what you're going to have made? That's what you're going to produce. Amen. Instead, Paul, instead, he said, while Paul remained an inmate of Rome, he couldn't plant new churches as he felt called to do. Instead, he sat in chains. Watch this. Attached to a, to, 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 to a guard, waiting a trial he thought could end his life. Can you imagine that? Being chained to God, not chained to somebody, else, but chained to God. Know that the authorities are always going to know where you are. That's right. In chapter 1, he speaks of his unchanging mission. He, remind, he remains on track. Even in prison, he insists that his circumstances actually turned out for the progress of the gospel. As I heard to my end here, and the first one I'm going to share with you is always have an attitude of gratitude. In chapter 1, Paul thanks the Philippians, believers, for supporting his ministry. Even when Paul was jailed and, and persecuted, they, they had been generous and loyal. It's good when the church can be generous and loyal to you when you're going through your challenges. It? It's good when the church don't forget about you. When, you, when your storm of life come on to you, amen. It's good when the church don't forget about you when you're going through. Amen. Paul received word of encouragement for what the, the people that had left Philippi, they were encouraging him. Why are you in change? Right. 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 The mission is going for Paul wanted to encourage these Christians by explaining that all his suffering had been for the cause. Can you, man, I, can you say that again? That all you've gone through in your life. It's been for a good cause. Listen, God brings us through stuff, doesn't he? He brings us to stuff, but anything he brings us to, he'll bring us through. What is God trying to get out of your life by what you're going through? Amen. 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 
I remember the story my mom used to tell me when she was going through an issue with cancer. She said, she said, I know this is really not about me. Yeah. He said, it's about my doctor. Amen. My God, that I was trying to minister to and talk to. It wasn't about me. It was when God had to use this, my suffering, what? For the kingdom's benefit. Yeah. Yeah. I want to encourage you. You think you're the person going through something you're not going through. But I want to just ask. I want to come on. I want you to ask God to go. What do you want me to learn yeah. from my suffering? Yeah. Use me as an instrument, God, for your good. Paul said, Lord, use me. These attempts to prosecute persecute Paul was actually called the gospel to, 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 to spread. Paul is grateful because the word spread all because of his suffering, the kingdom benefit. Okay. Amen. He fully expects to be released and see the believers at Philippi. All right. What do we ought to be thankful for? I want to tell you even on today that regardless of your predicament, that's why you ought to give thanks. Come on, give the Lord a hand. Regardless of what you're going through, regardless of your predicament, you ought to be able to say, Lord, thank you for my suffering. Paul says in his answer, Lord, I thank you for using me. Thank you for using somebody to pour into me. Have you ever thought that even what you're going through, your affliction, could be a blessing? Yes. All right. For God's glory. Now, I'm not talking about stuff that you brought yourself to. Amen. Amen. Because things happen to us. Why? Sometimes the worst is we're drawn away by what? Our own lust. Amen. See, stuff we bring on ourselves, we think, oh, Lord is blessing me. Amen. Just like you think, say, we find $20 on the ground, and then somebody just dropped it out their pocket. Well, the Lord just blessed me. Now, hold on now. <laughs> and the person in front of you, you see it right there. And then the $100 you're just trying to take your pocket, you go, hold on, and you're trying to say, what, what do I do? <laughs> Amen. Don't be trying to get paid. Church 
Sister Griffin was back at the church thinking about him. Amen. But he didn't forget about him in his affliction. So in your affliction, don't forget about God. Listen, you better give God the Lord, I thank you. Because I know God would have to sue without the rain, the flowers can't grow. But I know it can always be shining, hiding, hiding, hiding. But I thank you for the rain in my life, God, because it's making me bigger, it's making me better, making me stronger. How many of you are better because you're forgiven because you went through for Christ? Say, amen. And how many of you are stronger? How many of you are seeing the bright light? That the end of the night, because you're going through for a purpose. Yes. Also, also to give space, not not for all things, but notice what Paul did. Paul gave thus place what in all things. Oh, See, it's all good when you give thanks when things are going good. And ain't no problem. You got money to make. Okay, mm -hmm. you got three nickels. Not you ain't got just one hat. You got three nickels in your pocket. Yeah. Good. You got a half a loaf of bread. Amen. Yeah. You got some syrup over there. You can put on the staff. And the light is on. The electricity is on. The heat is on. Hallelujah. You got a fourth potato gas. But Paul says, give thanks not for all things, but what? In all things. Yeah, yeah. Why? Because the word said, watch this, watch this name, that all things, Brother Ricky, all of us say all things. All that means the good, the bad, the ugly, and the spanky. <laughs> it all works together. What for? My good. God puts it all together. What to help me, Sister Middleton? Yeah, He's looking out for my good. All things. Work together. I mean, you put y'all man in the gumbo. I don't care about no gumbo or not. But you know, when you get me out there on Friday, when y'all finish our turkey, you know, mommy's not with me. And they call up the turkey, they ask me to make some, 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 some salmon, turkey salmon. Then they start making turkey goulash. Then they start making tea. You know, when you're ready, get your mind right. I'm going to tell you, turkey's all gone. Mama's going to have turkey this, turkey that, turkey this, turkey, 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 turkey. turkey, turkey.
Thank you for the struggles in my life, Mr. Wilson. Yeah. Thank you for the safety of my family, for my loved ones, and my children. Yeah. Paul said, my father, if you're ready for someone says in verse number two, my soul shall make a road to the Lord. The almost shall give up their love and be glad. Look at verse number three of Psalm 34. The psalmist got happy. Yeah. After he said all that, he says, oh, not honey of the He says, oh, he started thinking about the goodness of it. He said, oh. Call one another, text one another, right? 
saying, hey, how you doing? And Sister Hyman, how you doing? Sister Sean, you good? Amen. I don't want to talk wrong. I just want to let you know I'm thinking about you. You know, some people just need a phone call. Some people that live by themselves, I'm getting out here. Some people that live by themselves just want their phone to ring. Now they say they don't want their phone to ring. But every now and then they want their phone to ring to let why? To let to let somebody to let them know that somebody was thinking about them. Amen. In this season of Thanksgiving, we ought to give thanks for somebody even thinking about us. And we go first to close. I'll ask what I want to share with you the other day. He thanked them because he was confident. Amen. Paul thanks, amen, and them because he was confident of what God was getting ready to do. Are you confident today? Do you believe you're going to come out? Come on, give the Lord a hand. Do you think you're going to come out with a mighty hand? Do you think God's going to break you out with a mighty hand? I want you to have confidence. Everybody say confidence. To know you will make it out. In verse number six, Paul says, Be confident of this very thing that he which begun. A good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. Amen. That blessed my heart, especially when I ran across it years ago. And it was encouragement to know that I'm not in this alone. World, this world can be can, can be cruel and mean. And sometimes we think we're by ourselves, don't we? But this word says, Paul says in the scripture, he says it right here. Amen. He said, be confident of this very thing. That the power that began the good work. You know what it said? It says, He that began the good work. Who is He? Jesus Christ. He that began the good work in you today. And Sister Steve, and Sister Wilson, and Sister Ray, and Sister Aaron, Thomas, He that began a good work, Brother Smith, come on. Brother Johnson, He that began a good work in you is faithful. He not sometimes invites you. Sometimes you get off by yourself and you're isolated from everybody else. He is faithful. He's confident that he will bring you out. All you have to do is start beginning. When you feel like you're in a position, you see like there's no way out. There's a, you're, you're, you're the toes being all the way around. The story of Paul and Silas in the jail. The word says, Brother Ricky, that they were on the inner part of the jail. They were down in the bottom part, the deepest, deepest, darkest part of the jail. Watch this. In that time, jails did not have bathrooms. So people had to use the restroom inside the jail. See how they went. Watch this. They were in the bottom, so you know stuff don't go up, right? <laughs> I'm trying to help you. Stuff don't go up. Yeah. They were locked in with his fox and mom with, with calls out with, with chains around their ankles. Eating. Bible said they decide amongst themselves. Let's just start praising. Come on, let's start magnifying. Can you magnify the Lord on me right now? Let's start magnifying God. The word said they began to sing and pray. And about midnight. You know, midnight is about the most darkest part of the evening of the night, right? Just about midnight, the Bible. Then they went to jail, begin to shake and rock and roll.
give thanks yeah. with a grateful heart. He will bring you back. Jesus did it on Friday night. He magnified his father. He says, Father, into my hands I put in my spirit. He said, forgive them. But I give you my life. He gave me the soul to God. And in early Sunday morning, come on, say early.
your altitude. Amen. To God be the glory. We are on our way home. To God be the glory. I'm forgetting you again. I thank God for forgetting you again. This is Pastor Amen. She's my administrative yeah, assistant. She keeps me in line. Amen. Hallelujah. I pray for administrative assistant. She's up. Amen. We know it.
Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and the next Monday. Have a next week. All right? Amen. All right. Let's stand. Amen. Let's stand. We're on our way home. Let the church say amen. Let the church say amen.